right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time to take a look at the Vosteed P3502 or the Parallel. And guys, I'm calling this one, they made this better than the Narrows, the Vosteed Parallel. Now look, I am not doing this, nor if you've been around my channel long enough, I am not the controversy guy. I don't write things just to be salacious or just to get attention. I do videos when I think they're warranted, uh, and I think this one is. Now, uh, I do not have a Narrows in here to do a comparison, so I'm going to take some shots in the comments for that. But I don't own a $522 Benchmade Narrows. Um, this is a pass-around knife uh, from the Lefty Pass-Around gr Group through uh, Vosteed, and this is an interesting, interesting design. So let's jump into it. Now, one of the things I want to say off the bat is obviously Vosteed makes their knives in China uh, and Benchmade makes their knives in Oregon. So obviously we like that made in the USA part, but we don't like the $522 price tag versus the $129 price tag of the Parallel. Parallel is in titanium and 154 now i believe the narrows is in like m390 uh let's see if i can find that real quick here yes it is in m390 that's what i thought i should have just went with it uh vosteed here orange thumb studs there 154 cm this dark uh bl kind of blasted or stonewashed um handle i would call it black but it's really kind of gray because of the blasting black hardware you do have a reversible uh loop over uh wire clip it is not uh what i would call deep carry it's pretty close but there's a little bit sticking out not bad you do have a lanyard hole and a backspacer that has the accent color as well now guys this thing is utterly crazy thin um, and I'm going to start off by telling you why I think this is better than the Benchmade Narrows. Now, um, this this chamfer, it's that simple. Um, I said, if you go back and look at my Narrows video, I said, man, if they had done something to knock this edge off uh, like a chamfer, it would be way better. And right here, you've got that. Um, you've got it. Now, this is uh, just ridiculously thin. I think the handles, let me get my laptop up here. Um, I think the handles on this one are 0.28 of an inch uh, wide. Yep, that is correct. 0.28. Uh, that is exactly what the Narrows is. The Narrows is also uh, 0.28 of an inch. Um, and it is, uh, the Narrows is uh, 0 0.008 of an inch um, as far as the blade stock. And this one is also 0 0.08. Sorry, not 0 0.008, 0 0.08. So I honestly believe that somebody at Vosseed saw the Benchmade Narrows and said, we can do that and we can do it better and we can do it less expensive. Now, again, if you're out there and you're fussing at me because this is a Chinese knife, guys, uh, I get it. But even if you add Bowler M390 to this and make this a $200 knife from Vosteed, you can't tell me that the USA made part of, part of it is worth another $322. Um, and that's just, you know, I know I've, I've picked on Benchmade about the Narrows. I've done it. I know people are sick of hearing about it. But if I was to buy a thin knife to have a thin EDC knife, it would be this one. Price-wise, this might be your best choice. Now, you guys know we're going to do a comparison here in a minute with my favorite thin knife, which is the ZT0545. But this is like $230. It is similar. The handle, I think, is 0.32, and the blade is uh, like 0.09. But this is a great one. It's titanium and carbon fiber. Um, but again, if you want an EDC knife that is just good for carry. Now, I would not recommend any of these thin, thin knives as work knives, okay? It's just not what, what I think they're good for. This is a very thin, use it for cutting some packages 
or opening something or whatever. It is not necessarily a, uh, a work knife. Now, could you work with it? Sure. Now, it is dead center. And uh, you can see there comes all the way out. Man, we are fighting focus today all the way out to the end. Um, and it is an access style lock. Now, I don't know how they did it. They've got this spring tuned so good that it just flies out of here. It is on. Well, let me double check, but I believe it to be on bearings. Let's see if I can see. It is so thin. There's no way, but I'm, I'm. 83% sure this guy's on bearings. We'll see if they list it here in just a minute. No side to side, no up and down. Uh, you do have a four finger grip when choked back, and then you've got a flat to choke up, and you do have some jimping up here on this ultra thin uh, stock here. Now you can come out here if you would like, um, and I would not recommend being on this swedge because it is very, very thin. You have... Um, a really nice kind of reverse tanto, uh, sheep's footy, something or other blade here. Uh, by the way, I've got a lot of people that tell me they think this is a ripoff of the Kershaw Iridium. Now, guys, I don't see that. Now, do I see some similarities in the profile? Sure. I don't think um, the Iridium has this kind of cutout, and it is not anywhere near this thin. Blades might be very similar, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't really see that at all. Now, uh, do I feel that clip? Absolutely. That clip sticks up quite a bit. That clip hits me right there. You see that red spot? That is from the clip. But again, back to what I said, this is an EDC knife. This is not your bear down and work knife. Now, how does it cut? I mean, come on. Um, yeah, it's 0 0.08 of an inch. Of course it's going to cut. Uh, wow. I mean, it is a laser beam of a cutter. 154 cm. We'll go over to specs in a minute here. Uh, really cool. Now, if you are to bear down, not only are you going to feel that clip, you're probably going to feel this corner right here, okay? You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of a square cutout. Um, and that's. But again, I don't think that's what this knife is is four. And the reason I gave the, the Benchmade such a hard time was you got all that for $522. And I felt like they should have finished it, uh, you know, instead of making the handles even thinner with those pockets, should have made, you know, the a little bit more and given me, you know, chamfers like this. I just, I think it's better. Um, and yeah, I know, stop picking on the Benchmade. I know a lot of you guys love it. And, and I, more power to you. There are a lot of people out here that absolutely love the Benchmade Narrows, and I am not ragging on you. I'm This channel exists to give my opinion. That is the only thing this is for. <laughs> and hopefully you like it enough to keep watching, and I don't make you mad. But uh, really, really cool and quite slicey. Now, if we do hold it up here next to our friend, uh, the, Z, the ZT0545, you will see the 0545 is a little bit thicker, um, 0.3 instead of 0.28, like 0.32, 0.28. Uh, Blade-wise, you can see the stock is a little, like, minuscule uh, thicker on uh, the ZT0545. And you'll see, um, one of the things I really dig is a nice tall blade, and you'll see uh, the ZT's got that ultra, you know, all the way up, full flat, um, you know, this one is still flat, uh, but it's not nearly as tall. You do have a really nice low tip for getting in stuff that you don't have on this one. Uh, but just, they're both great. Now this one is like 229. Um, and so bear that in mind. Now I've been talking for like two, a week now about how thin the Spyderco UKPK salt is. And boy, is it dirty. Um, guys, this is nothing. <laughs> um, it is similarly thin, but not as thin. And you can see stock wise, I mean, it's like ridiculously, uh, you know, thin as well, but not no nearly as thin, except you have quite a, a little bit of a thinner tip there. So really interesting, uh, plenty of good choices out there in the thin knife game, but I think for the price for the build, I think the Vosti Parallel may well be 
uh, the best offering there is the whole package. Now you can see it's a similar size to the Rat 2 and it's quite smaller than the Rat 1 over here uh, for sure. So uh, let's talk through the specs. Now, unfortunately, at the time of this recording, the Parallel has sold out. Uh, that is how popular this thing has been. Uh, it has gone away very quickly. So again, 7.04 inches uh, overall with a 2.9 inch blade length. Um, and a blade thickness of 0 0.09, 154 cm at 58 to 62, reverse tanto, flat grind, satin finish, okay? Uh, you do have a handle length of 4.14, four finger grip all over the place. Um, the handle thickness, 0.28, wow. Uh, titanium with a black finish, washed, 2.29 ounces, so utterly light. I mean, just crazy. This is a Yudong design. And uh, again, not available now, but everybody seems to say, indicate that they'll be coming back soon. So what do you guys think of the Vosti Parallel? Hopefully I didn't make anybody too angry with my opinions about the, uh, the Narrows there. I just, I have to give my thoughts uh, the way I see them. Uh, ooh, I forgot to check and see if it said uh, bearings on here. I hate that most of these listings don't ever tell us. Yep, it is on bearings, okay. I thought so. I just wasn't positive. But for the action to be like that, it almost has to be on bearings. Does fly out of there. Can a middle finger flick it? I haven't even tried, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Nope. Can't get it out of the way. It's too thin. Uh, but really, really cool. The Vostede Parallel. Guys, thank you for checking it out. Please give me a like, a comment, um, and please make sure you are subscribed and have hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.